Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the monthly for April 2017. My name's Camel, of course. Firstly, before we get into what a normal monthly has, I have been given five free three-day passes to give away for PAX Oz, which is in Melbourne at late October this year. If you would like to win or be given one of these five free passes, hit me up on Twitter and simply let me know that you would like one of the five free passes. Winners will be chosen soon because... I don't know, Penny Arcade told me I needed to choose the winner soon. It is late October, I'm not sure the dates, but it's like, you know, 25th-ish around that of October this year in Melbourne, Australia. So please only apply for the passes if you are over the age of 18 and can get there and be there for that weekend. On your own funds, of course, the pass is just for the convention itself. But, you know, if you're thinking of going this year anyway, then hit me up and you might just get in there for free. So thanks to Penny Arcade for that, and hopefully I'll speak to you soon on Twitter, and then later on this year I'll see you at PAX. And again, hit me up on Twitter, not in these YouTube comments on Twitter where I can contact you one-on-one -on -one and we can get the ball rolling. So for now, I'll see you on Twitter, but let's move on to the monthly's normal happenings? Discussions? So last month I was away for the first week of March, which made video creation pretty slow, and then even then, once I was back, making videos was very slow. I think I only made like eight videos last month, which is really depressing in hindsight. There were a lot of personal things, not bad things, you know, birthdays, friends going away, friends coming back from overseas. There was a wedding on last weekend, things like that, just big, huge time commitments that really put the handbrake on making videos. But even with that, I mean, I'm not happy with the amount of content I put out and hopefully, you know what, fuck hopefully. This month, I'm gonna do much better. I've set a goal for myself, which is a video every day for the entirety of this April. And even not every day, hopefully just at the end of April, I'll have 30 videos that I've made in April. Which again, compared to March is like eight, that's a big difference. And yeah, that's pretty much my goals for April. So let's get on to the Q&A. And if you would like me to answer any of your questions, leave the question as a comment on this video and hopefully, maybe, just maybe, I'll answer your question in next month's monthly. So let's get started. By the way, the questions are there. That's why I'm looking there. First up, Law Shelter asks, what inspired you to start YouTube? That's a hard question. I had thought about making YouTube videos for a very, very long time before I kind of figured out to make gaming videos. I was really good at editing videos at school, and I played a lot of games, and I also watched a lot of YouTube. Of course, in hindsight, it's pretty obvious that, you know, those all those things go together, but uh, at the time, no idea. Until one day I sat down for coffee and my friend said, hey, I got the Elder Scrolls Online beta, and then I went, this is my chance to make YouTube videos, and... Here we are, three and a bit years later. Ethan asks, Camel, will you please do CCC on Oblivion? Very possibly, I've had a look around Oblivion and I can't really find any environmental stuff like you find in Skyrim and C in the CCC series for Skyrim. So maybe, maybe for Oblivion. If there's enough stuff to cover, yes. Lena asks, what's your most memorable gaming experience? All of my most fond gaming memories are from World of Warcraft. Uh, vanilla, of course. My friends Jeremy and Scott and I would play Warcraft and it would be the best thing ever. Skullcrusher asks, Hey Camel, my question is, do you think we'll ever see the Oums or the, or the the different types of Khajiit in a future Elder Scrolls game or maybe in the future of ESO? Probably not, they haven't put them in the uh, other Elder Scrolls games. I think they might, they might have, they put some weird variant in one of the older ones, but I, we'll, I guarantee we'll never see them. Bethesda gets less and less driven by lore and cool little details like that, and I guarantee we'll never see them. <laughs> Iridium, I don't know why it's making me laugh. Uh, Iridium asks, do you think the Cliff Racer should be a playable race in the Elder Scrolls 6? No. No, I do not. Angelica asks, yo Camel, why do you think there are Argonians you can marry in Skyrim and no Khajiits? I don't really care about the whole marriage mechanic and never use it, but it's a... But what? But this particular detail bugs me as a Khajiit lover. Well, Bethesda is obviously very phobic, like everyone else. John asks, I think we won't get the Elder Scrolls 6 until mid-2020s, and Bethesda will probably create a new IP. What? Bethesda is already confirmed to be making two new IPs before the uh, Elder Scrolls 6 is released, but I agree. Oh wait, what? What would you like the new game to be? I don't care what the new game is, as long as it kind of plays out the same way as Skyrim and Fallout then, uh, and I can keep making a living by playing their games. How can you like Dunma and Nords? That's like you're hot and cold at the same time. My feet are freezing and my hands are boiling, so... And your theory. It's not possible! Also a question. You a Dark Elf lover. I do love Dark Elves, and it is possible. 
The last person asks, will we get more curious curiosities for places like the Vampire Castle in Dawnguard or Solstheim? Please, in love them. In Yes. Probably, definitely not the Vampire Castle, there's nothing that interesting there, but Solstheim, definitely. What privilege, are you friends with Gro- I can never say that guy's name. Um, Grovola. Grovola? <laughs> Sounds like some kind of kale-based breakfast. Uh, bloody Grovo and then Thenthapple. Also, another guy's name I can't say. Um, I'm not friends with either of them, but I'm not not friends with them. I've just never spoken to them at length and never really met any uh, either of them. So, so yeah, in that sense, we're not friends. No matter how the console war rages on, we can all agree PC's the best. Yes. General Khan, hey, I love you vids and you're really funny. Will you do any more detective videos for Skyrim? I sure will. There's so many more to come. Oh, dear God. The Dead Horse Productions, in Oblivion we saw the Deadlands, the Shivering Isles, and kind of a bit of the Coloured Rooms. Nah, yeah, not really, we saw we saw the sky, I think. And in Skyrim we saw Apocrypha and Cold Harbor in ESO. But if we're we're but if we are to see another plane of Oblivion in the Elder Scrolls 6, whose realm would you like to see and explore to any extent? I don't know why I fell off the camera, but that happens, so you know. Tell your grandkids about it. I'd love to see Moonshadow. Yeah. I would like to see the Spiral Skeen in Mafala's Realm. It, um, it's pretty cool. Love that stash makes me feel vulnerable. Your body's giving you the right signals. <laughs> That's so fucked up. All right. Obsidian Duck asks, I don't know if it has been asked already. What is your favorite unique item from the Elder Scrolls V? This can be any weapon or apparel. Yeah, I don't think I have a favorite or like go-to weapon in Skyrim or item for that matter. No, yeah, I'll just go with Dawnbreaker. It's pretty cool. Oh, again. Suspicious name asks, "What's your favorite slash the best weapon in Morrowind and Skyrim?" This is so weird. Like the same question is right next to each other in the comments section. I uh, forget Skyrim because I just said that. Uh, best weapon in Morrowind? I would probably go with Skull Crusher, I think it was called. Yes, it was Skull Crusher. It was a one handed mace that had a feathering effect, which basically made everything you were carrying much lighter. And carrying heaps of stuff at once in Morrowind was way more important than in Oblivion and Skyrim. So having a huge carry capacity and making everything you were carrying as light as possible was vital to surviving. So Skull Crusher was an excellent weapon to have. McDoodle Spurts asks, what genre do you think the new IPs Bethesda are currently developing will be? Um, RPGs, open world RPGs. I think they've already said that. No, it wasn't. No, it was too, it was very vague what they said. They're like, we're making new games and they're like the games we make. So uh, I assume it's, it's like, open world stuff. Hey Camel, what are your favorite cities in the Elder Scrolls or even favorite city in each the Elder Scrolls game? Uh, Morrowind, let's go with Vivic. Oblivion, we'll go with Shaden Hall and Skyrim, we'll go with Solitude. Do you use any mods for Skyrim? No, never, never. Have you ever encountered dangerous animals such as a shark or snake in Australia? Snakes, many times, and sharks, Yes, I was snorkeling in the Great Barrier Reef, turned around, and there was a shark next to me, which was good fun. Luckily, as a defense mechanism, I shat in the water and created a cloud that it couldn't see through. Then, like a squid, I squidged my way ashore, stood on a stonefish, and went to hospital. Tea Cake asks, do you roleplay and create backstories for your characters? If so, what is your favorite? Tell us about them, Jesus Senpai. I actually don't do any of that stuff. I don't mind choosing my character just because the different races look cool or look different and have different racial abilities, but in terms of backstory, I've never done it, ever, and it uh, doesn't interest me whatsoever. Suspicious Name asks, Elder Scrolls Detective Nazim. Maybe. He's a weird dude. He's, uh... Oh, maybe. I won't, I won't uh, spoil the surprises for you. Stonewall Brigade. Yes, someone likes New Vegas. I'm pretty sure most people like New Vegas over the other Elder... Um, over the other Fallout games. Can you start some playthroughs of Fallout or Skyrim? Nope. Oh god, it's so fucking disturbing. Hey Camel, Boba Fett or Han Solo? Boba Fett. Hey Camel, do you think there'll be less loading screens in the Elder Scrolls 6? By the way, love your content. Never turn into an asshole. <laughs> Too late, buddy. Okay, um, yeah, there, well, there should be less loading screens in Elder Scrolls 6 unless they do something very, very wrong. Do you know the Muffin Man? No, actually, I don't. Enjoy your content. Do you think Bethesda could learn some world slash city building from The Witcher 3 from places like Novigrad, Oxenfurt, and Velen and Skellige? Yes, yes, they can. 
I don't know about world building, I don't mind Bethesda's worlds, but their cities stink. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you look at, say, Novigrad compared to Solitude, it's an embarrassment. It's like putting a house cat up against a tiger. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. In fact, this will probably be the topic of my next Elder Scrolls 6 discussion video, city sizes. What is your favorite type of build to play through Skyrim? Massive carry capacity, heaps of heavy armor, heaps of health, and pretty much never have to worry about dying. That build. So that's what you look like. No, actually. Camel, what is your very favorite Daedric artifact and very first Elder Scrolls game you played? First Elder Scrolls game was Morrowind, favorite Daedric artifact. Mm, in Oblivion, it was the skeleton key. That thing was the best, and I, I both love and hate that you had to sacrifice the skeleton key to finish the Thieves Guild questline, or not finish it and keep the skeleton key. But at the same time, I'm so annoyed that you had to make that choice. Give me that damn skeleton key. Stormcloak or Imperial? Stormcloak. Deal with it. Are there people who think you are British, and if so, does that offend you? There are lots of people who think I'm British, but it doesn't offend me. The only thing that offends me is people being offended. Yeah, wrap your head around that fucking shit. And the camera cut out, but let's continue on like nothing happened, eh? Swift Alien asks, what time period would you like the new Elder Scrolls game to be set in? To be honest, time period doesn't really bother me at all. I just want a new Elder Scrolls game and don't want to wait for nine years for it to come out. The Fat Stringer Q&A, do you like old school black metal? I know you like proggy atmospheric stuff and modern black metal. I don't like old black metal, actually. The oldest I could go is probably Demysterious Dom Santanus from Mayhem from 1994. Even then, other albums that came out way later than that, and even to this day, anything that has that old school true cavalt metal sound, it's um, it sounds like tinfoil rubbing against fucking guitar pickups. So no, I don't like old school black metal. Jet Pilot, how much pink do you score with that stash? My life looks like one of Filthy Frank's album covers. Ben Flint Pick, would you like an Elder Scrolls game where you can play as the dwarves? Or a game that involves them. I suppose in one way or another every game involves them, and in Morrowind it actually did involve them as we interacted with Yagrum Bagan for part of the main quests, who was at least the thought to be last living dwarf. So firstly, no, I don't want to play as a dwarf and I don't think anyone else does. People like the dwarves because they're mysterious. As soon as they become unmysterious, no one gives a shit about them. The Dwemer mysteries will never be solved. And whether you know it or not, you don't want them to be solved. I sound like that developer of, of Warcraft. You think you do, but you don't. Phone guy, so if you could fuck any race in the Elder Scrolls, which would you choose? Give me some of that dark elf. Space Pony 95, catchy name by the way. Least favorite race to play in an Elder Scrolls? Probably, I would say Imperials, Bretons, Red Guards, Orcs, Argonians, and Khajiit. I never play. Greg asks, if you had to choose between seeing Ion Zer, um, which is the Fallout's music composer, as he writes here, or Jeremy Soul, who is the Elder Scrolls' musical composer. If I had to see one of them live, who would I choose? It would definitely be Jeremy Saul. Zer's music actually creeps me out, which I suppose is uh, pr a praise to him. But when I listen to the Fallout soundtrack, I get like really uneasy and like, ugh, which I, you know, post-apocalyptic wasteland, I suppose it's meant to do that. But as a general enjoyment, I, I don't find that as enjoyable as the, say, Skyrim soundtrack, Morrowind soundtrack, Oblivion's soundtrack. So Jeremy Soul for days. William Bradley, Camel, what race do you want to be in an- People are obsessed with a race. William Bradley asks, Camel, what race would you want to be in the Skyrim universe? Shout out from the USA. Either Ultima or Dunma, just so I could potentially live for thousands of years using magic. That's as far as I'm aware. Do you know, Manamarco and Divanthfear are the only guys who have used it. Or at least they're the only people I can think of that have used magic to live. It's raining really heavily. Oh. Yeah, anyway, let's go with Dunma. Dunma's cool. And if I'm gonna be sleeping with Dunma, you know, let's not make a crossbreed. The Ginger Cat 14 Hey Camel, do you think that Bethesda could incorporate a multiplayer system like co-op, not MMO, to the Elder Scrolls or Fallout? Would you like that feature? Love the content, please keep it up. Thank you. And I wouldn't like that feature. Um, I'm sure they could. I don't know if it'd be good, I don't want it, so so I wouldn't be the right person to judge that. Although I think they probably could, I don't think they will, and I don't think they should either. Hey Jesus, I have a question for you. Why do female Argonians have tits? Because it's sexier. And also, can you say, and always remember my child, eat your vegetables. Well, 
Yes. The Bread Lord. Hi, how's your day? This is for the monthly. Today was pretty good. Had a good sleep. I've already finished a video today, which is probably going to go up. It's probably already up, in which case I can say what it is, which is 365 days in Skyrim passing in 1000 seconds, which is 16 minutes, 40 seconds? No. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah, it is. 16 minutes, 40 seconds, and... 20 milliseconds, which is exactly how long the video is. I finished that video, so today is good. I ate some pizza, I watched some TV while I ate that pizza, and here we are, doing a second video for the day. NCR Ranger, do a CCC in Fallout New Vegas. Maybe, again, same problem that I had with Oblivion. It didn't exactly have the same amount of, of um, environmental storytelling that Skyrim did. So actually finding things to, to cover in the video is much harder than in <laughs> Skyrim. Ken May. If you could choose three races to join the playable races, which would you choose and which races would you have kicked out? Well, I suppose, get rid of Imperials, Bretons, and Red Guards. Someone's gonna be pissed, but hey. And who would I add? Let's go with Mayoma, because they're cool and I haven't seen them yet. Uh, let's go with Imga, just because I don't really want to see apes running around, but you know, they're in the lore, they exist. Bring them in. Yeah. A lot of time's passed. The third race. It seems simple answering questions, doesn't it? This is really difficult. Oh boy. For good measure... No. No, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, let's go with the, the Sinistral Elves from Ikuda. Who are extinct, but you know... Uh, you come up with the third race. Hey Camel, if you were going to bring back a character for the next uh, Fallout slash Elder Scrolls game, who would it be? Also, have you listened to Power Wolf before? If you haven't, you should. I haven't, and I probably will after this. Actually, for Fallout, it'd have to be Preston Garvey. Purely for the meme qualities. But for Elder Scrolls, I think Devanthir. I recently got into Dimmu Bulger as well. I love ICS Vortex, and I'm sad he left the band. Yeah, I was watching one of their live DVDs the other day, and I'm also still devastated that he was kicked out of the band, along with Mastus. What can you do? Would you rather play as a hawker or a cow in Skyrim? A hawker because they're brutal. More on that later, this month. I bought Morrowind and it said it would come in 24 hours, and it isn't here! What the fuck happened? I'll tell you what didn't happen. You didn't buy it on Steam. Khajiit vs Redguard, which is better and who do you think would win a war? Well, the Red Guards would win because they once beat the Sinistral Elves, and if they can beat the Sinistral Elves, they can beat anyone. The Red Guard would kick the crap out of the Khajiit. Uh, which shout from Skyrim would you like to have in real life? I'd go for the clear skies, it would be quite nice. Quite useful, rather. Well, in Australia, I'm sick of clear skies. But do as if you wouldn't go for unrelenting force. Blowing people away. Oh, one mo. Do you speak Spanish? No, and I thought about that for far too long. Catfish, the bottle meme. Do you use your hands when talking while recording videos other than the monthly? You know, you don't always mean to do it. It just sometimes it happens naturally, but you know. Camel, would you like the slow to make an appearance in the Elder Scrolls 6? Yes, they should, and they should make an appearance in every game, and they should have had made appearances in every game. Because they're cool. Do you play any other RPG series other than WoW, Fallout, and Elder Scrolls? Witcher... the Witcher series. Well, I played Witcher 3, and even though you don't get to choose your character, it still has unmatched role-playing components. Yeah, no, we'll go with components. Jimmy Savile. Have you played Fallout 1 and 2, and what is your favourite Fallout? The correct answer is New Vegas, by the way, and that is my answer. New Vegas is easily the best Fallout game. I think I played Fallout 1 for... I think I played Fallout 1 for about 10 minutes, and I was like, shh, shooting a rat by clicking on it? I don't know, it was weird, and I didn't enjoy that. Which would you be the most excited to see as a playable race in the Elder Scrolls 6, the Dwarf Sea Elves, or the Slowed? I would like to see the Sea Elves, given those options, and I'll still like, oh, as a playable race? <laughs> okay, I don't want to see any new playable races. If I had to choose one out of those three, it'd be the Sea Elves. And if they did add the other two, I would just think that's ridiculous. Nick asks, hey Camel, will you be planning on continuing the Fallout New Vegas weapon guides? One day, there's no rush. Um, I don't feel like it. And after making 18 months of Fallout videos, I am don't want to do Fallout videos. Do you honestly think that The Force Awakens is worse than the prequels? No respect for you anymore, mate. Well, The Force Awakens fucking stinks. <laughs> um, yeah, I really don't like The Force Awakens, dude. I went into it like, yes, and I came out like, 
Uh, yeah, it was good. Uh, and finally, where are you from? The name of this place would mean naught to you. Tell me what game that's from, and nothing will happen. You can just feel like a boss. So that's it for the Q&A for this month, April 2017. If you do have any questions that you would like me to answer, please leave that question as a comment on this video, and maybe I'll answer it in next month's monthly. And don't forget to hit me up on Twitter if you would like a chance to win one of those five PAX Oz passes that I do have to give away. It's a three-day pass, which is for the entire weekend, the entire convention. It would normally cost, I think it's around like 120 or 140 Australian dollars. So if you did plan on going, this is an awesome way to get a free weekend pass. Again, don't comment on this video about how you would like to win one of the passes. Hit me up on Twitter so I can message you straight away. And we can get the ball rolling and I can let Paxos staff know that you are the winner. So five people will be winning those and coming to Paxos in Melbourne late October this year, where we can of course hang out and walk around and do whatever. So thanks very much for watching this month's monthly. I do hope you enjoyed the Q&A. Be sure to leave your questions. Hit me up on Twitter for the chance to win a pass to Pax Oz this year in Melbourne. Please only apply if you are 18 plus. And also remember that you will have to make your way there and find your own accommodation and stuff. It's just a pass for the actual convention. So thanks for watching and I'll see you hopefully every single day this month with a new video. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.